If you are looking to buy a home, guess what? Now may be the time to take the plunge. Hey, realtors say right now it's a buyer's market. And we are joined by Baird and Warner real estate agent Sammy Lubeck. Sammy, thanks for being on the program. I never th thought I'd say buyer's market again. We're Why back. Is it? Yeah, buyers, we're back. It's time to go. Let's go. Okay. All right. What's revving up uh, things on the buyer side of things? So naturally, interest rates have come down, which okay. gives people a lot more buying power. They've been waiting for it. They've been craving for it. They freaked out over the fact that interest rates went up to close to eight. Right. And now that they've come down to six and a half, they have so much more buying power. And combining that, you have a little bit more inventory. Okay. You had record lows at the beginning of this year. But over the last seven months, you've seen over 8,000 new listings every month in Cook County. So that's over 250 new listings every day. So they're starting to sprout back up because, you know, I've, we, we've interviewed tons of people where it's impossible for them with the interest rates and the lack of inventory. It's just been stalemate time for them. What what has changed? What, what, what do you think led to this? Are more, think, are more people just listing right now? Or what's I think, going on? Well, let's put it this way. We had record low inventory. We had record high interest mm -hmm. rates, at least for the last six, you know, out of our last six years. So things could have only improved for home buyers out there. Now that inventory has increased and their buying power has gone up, naturally here we are at a less competitive time during October, during the later months when you have more families that are, uh, you know, they're, they're in their homes. They know what school district they're going to be in. They're not going to be moving their kids during the school year. And a lot of companies, they do not uh, hire as many people at the end of the year because they naturally want to look at their bottom line for the fiscal year. So because of that, you have a lot more people having a greater opportunity to take advantage of some great deals right now. Okay, let's talk about those great, great deals and unpack this a little bit. Okay. In terms of price ranges, or are, is there a slot where things are particularly opening up right now? Is there a price range or a type of residence, a, a single family home, the condo market? What can you tell us there? I think you're still seeing single family homes under a million dollars in the suburbs. It's still incredibly competitive. The homes naturally that couldn't sell during the spring and summer market, those prices are coming down. And then you look at the luxury market, you do have a smaller prospective pool of buyers. So naturally, those people can take advantage of some great deals right now. As far as in the city, it's a little less competitive, which does create more of a buyer's market and an opportunity for people to get a great deal on a condo in the city. Are you still seeing bidding wars unfold? And how are those playing out are they less intense now that things are a little competitive or are things are consistently going over asking it depends where you're at if a house is priced well and it's updated it still has the opportunity to have a bidding war okay i brought clients to see a home in glencoe last week it was 1.6 million dollars and it still had multiple offers mm. so you're still seeing the good stuff sells has a lot of people interested and naturally a bidding war. All right, how can folks find you if they're interested? They can find me, <laughs> I'm known as Chicagoland's real estate agent, they can find me at www.sammy.homes. All right, Sammy, thank you so much. Good Thanks luck to you, me. sir. Good luck to all those in the market for a home right now. Now might be your time.